As the holiday season wraps up, new numbers from the CDC shows an uptick in COVID cases in Florida. Yeah, doctors did say they expected this. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers joins us from downtown Tampa. And Chris, experts are saying this is a new strain that's spreading across the country. Yeah, Caitlin Frank, this is a subvariant of the Omicron strain of COVID-19. And get this, between December 22nd and December 28th in the state of Florida, over 25,000 new cases were reported. That's a 6,000 case increase from the week before. The weekly case rate now per 100,000 people stands at over just 120. Now, the new variant dubbed XBB 1.5 accounts for close to 40% of cases right now in the United States. The percentage of Floridians ages five and older that received the primary vaccine series are just above 70%. Data shows barely 10% have received an updated booster dose. According to the CDC, the booster dose is actually helpful. Florida Today reports two federal studies released in December found the latest booster is, quote, much more effective at protecting its recipients from hospitalization than those for who are unvaccinated or have only had the first two shots. Health experts say Americans should expect the peak number of cases to happen later this month. Peak has been every year so far in mid-January, so we probably will see that again. I don't think there's any reason to believe otherwise. Now, Caitlin Frank, the U.S. is now implementing new travel restrictions from those who are traveling from China into the United States in order to get through the border security. We'll break down all those changes coming up a little bit later in the show. For now, reporting live in downtown Tampa, Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay.